Hi guys, so I don't know if anyone else is breaking out from wearing a mask, but I literally have like a zit line formation from wearing a surgical mask. So I, and P50 is just not cutting it for me right now. It's like, I think maybe my skin has made me used to it. So I am bringing you my first Biologique dupes video and I'm kind of going to be testing this out but I feel like it's a big one and this time I am trying to find kind of the best duplicate for P50 and I use it for like the purpose of maintaining like acne free skin and since that's not happening right now I am going to change to something new and this is what I'm using. Dettol. This is their liquid Clorox Chloroxylenol. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to do like a few updated clips through the process of this. I used it this morning. I'm going to use it like the same amount of times as I use P50. Um and let's see what's gonna happen with like this guy and my little mask thing going on. Not happy about that at all. Trying not to wear a mask whenever I can, but I'm in Los Angeles and apparently you have to wear it all the time now. But this, I will say when I used it this morning, I know the dilution ratio is like one tablespoon to one cup. Let's just see for acne. Yeah, one tablespoon to about exactly one cup. So this is like a nice big bottle too. I bought it like right before everything went crazy with like antiseptics and things like that. So fennel that is in P50. I, I did a lot of research trying to see if I could just like recreate it or, you know, find all the ingredients and make it at home. I mean, vinegar I have, but fennel is like a really weird, like chloroseptic, like antibacterial kind of thing. And to buy it in medical grade, I just wasn't sure if I could get the ratios right. And I was worried that I would just end up burning my skin. The interesting thing I did find when I was doing a lot of research was that, you know, whenever you have like a sore throat and you use like a chloroseptic spray, the back of your throat. So uh, that is made of fennel. So kind of gross, but we're eating fennel without even knowing it. I really don't think it's that bad for you. Don't know why it's banned in the EU or wherever it's banned. Um, this is, I think this is, a UK company I'm really like I'm, I'm you know I grew up in America but I just love like skincare and products from other countries I feel like yes American made is really great but sorry this is turning into like longer rambles but I just love talking apparently <laughs> I just like me and my sister whenever we would go shopping we the first thing we do is just go to Boots or go to like any like apteca or pharmacy and literally just spend hours there like trying to find the local skincare and like we're just skincare makeup junkies and I really don't I've never really heard about that at all but I've also never been to the UK so that could be why um it was kind of an Amazon find and my fiance he uses the body wash on his skin and I read about the body wash mainly because sorry, I'm going to take you to my dark room but mainly because he was just like nervous about like I don't know skin and it was around like February when it was flu season whatever so he wanted to try their body wash then he fell in love with it and then I kind of googled and found that they make this like antiseptic liquid and then I was reading oh it's great for dandruff it's great for acne and so this morning when I used it I used it on a cotton round 
like I put the cap on it and then I doused the whole like cotton round with water to kind of dilute it. Definitely not the ratio because I got a really like burny burny feeling. So I just went back in with a really soaking wet towel. But I kind of think like if you use P50 and you get that burny burny feeling all over your face and the tingling, you know you know, like that's kind of what it felt like. The smell is kind of weird. It's kind of like a pine scent. So it could remind you of a cleaning product. But yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to check back in every day and kind of show the progress of my skin. And since we're wearing a mask, let's see what's going on, if that helps. I feel like it's an affordable product. I'm sure it's less expensive like in Europe and the UK than it is in America. I think I paid $30 to $40 for that bottle. Um, I'm sure it's it's probably like, for all I know, it's probably like a dollar in the UK and in Europe. <laughs> um, but interestingly enough, my mom said that she, like I sent her a photo of it because I just, I've never heard of it. And I was like, oh, look, look what I bought, you know, showing off all my antibacterial stuff I stocked up on early before quarantine started and she freaked out apparently they have Dettol in Poland and she grew up using it and she had to get it for herself and she uses it all over the place now she just forgot about it so definitely let's see what it does for my skin and I'm gonna make the dilution in the little container. I'm going to pick something up and take you guys along for kind of the progress of this. And maybe it is a dupe for Lotion P50 because from my research and like a few random articles I read, I didn't believe a word anyone said. Elle Magazine or whatever, Beauty, whatever, like Pixie toner from Target does not compare like that is literally water on my skin in comparison to P50 so like I like the people who wrote stuff I'm like there's just I haven't found a comparison but maybe this could be it maybe this is strong enough let's see what happens the one thing I read on online when I did some research about this is that if you have eczema it's not good for your skin it's not recommended so yeah this is my first dupes video I have a few more I'm going to make of products that I've compared and I just think are really equal in quality but I want to do this video because I know that like with everything going on right now and I can't even go out and buy more skincare right now. I'm not really working and I know a lot of people aren't either. So, you know, we all want to look beautiful still and have great skin. So this is just, you know, I want to find cheaper, affordable options for people instead of buying, you know, a 60 or or $100 product because... I don't know about you, but I can't do that right now, so I'm working through what I have, but fighting the good fight. <laughs> Battling the mask acne, I guess. I just have to grab my dessert, too, um, and share it with you guys. It is literally, like, Cool Whip, <laughs> strawberries, a little bit of stevia, and, oh, I'm sorry, agave nectar. You can use stevia. A little bit of almond milk and it's supposed to be like a dull whip kind of thing I don't know it's frozen and it's so good and cool whip is so good I know it's so bad for you probably but apparently it only has 25 calories in it guys I am coming back to edit this like footage and I'm working on the dupes video and <laughs> Basically, when I started making this video, I was trying a new product, and I I don't really try too many new products. 
on my face per se and unless they're biologic or just something I've used in the past and I I swear I had like I don't know if I was allergic to the fragrance or just I'm so sensitive to fragrances now um Dettol is made with whatever chemical but it they have a pine scent added to it and all day long from the second I put it on and then the next day I just like had that pine scent in my nose and I had the worst headache and just did not feel good generally from that fragrance which like <laughs> led me to watching a documentary called I think it's called stink or scent it's on Netflix um, but it's basically about like the fragrance industry and how like things we don't even know in our lives have like fragrances added to them and I I have to say that I love fragrances I am that person like before I started making this video we had like an airwick like oil thing in every single outlet I love Febreze gain is my favorite smell and I don't know if it's just my body's changing or what's going on but I just can't handle fragrances that much and like having a headache and you know now that we've been at home for so long like you know I'm just trying to, to like work on getting our house super like clean feeling and natural and I'm kind of eliminating fragrances so that's just something I've been working on and this experience led me to this uh, so I'm gonna make more like videos about my fragrance free journey if you anyone is interested just comment down below of like the changes we're making and that I'm making and I also kind of just want to be more sustainable and like I don't know about the whole zero waste thing but I also you know just want to buy less and just buy quality things when I need them and that that for me that also ties back to like you know economy and being out of work for a few months and you know not having a disposable income anymore so definitely um I kind of just want to start over especially like I feel like I'm a phoenix like rising from the ashes <laughs> of all the Bath and Body Works candles I was burning <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, like, I think it's good. I think it's definitely good to like explore this to see how I feel and if I feel better. And I definitely have felt better eliminating the fragrances I have found so far, but Dettol, I, I'm sorry. I don't know if Dettol can be used as a P50 substitute. And part of me thinks that it still can, but I am just so sensitive to fragrance that I will never find out for myself. And it could also be that the ratio that I was using it was just not diluted enough. But that smell, if I ever smell that smell ever again, I think I will vomit. And I hate to say it, I threw away that giant bottle right into the trash. And I know my mom still uses it, but when my mom was using it, I know that my dad literally like gave birth to a cow when she used it in the house and I think my dad is sensitive to that fragrance and freaked out so I like must just take after my dad and not like that fragrance as well so yeah I don't know and I don't know if I have any like viewers from overseas or whatever that use Dettol more frequently Maybe they're just used to it. Um, and then I just went to the Wikipedia page and I was reading about how people like who inhale, like there's been a lot of people who've inhaled the fumes or whatever have ended up in the ER. And I'm like, oh my God, like, what, what was I doing? Like, let me just like stick to like P50 and, you know, it's tried and true. And I love the smell of P50 and it's just, it, you know it has like this natural like smell to me like what it smells like watercolors I know I've said that before but um I just have to be careful about things and I also just want to give you guys if anyone's watching this 
like my videos for actual like knowledge. I don't want to ever recommend something that didn't work for me and no way did that work for me. So that's kind of why I had to stop making the video and yeah, I just will continue using lotion P50 for sure. Also want to say that like the masks, like I've been trying to avoid wearing a mask whenever possible and I know we're required to wear them in Los Angeles and like my skin has like healed somewhat from like trying not to wear the mask outside. So yeah, I think when I do wear a mask, I'm just going to probably continue to like use less moisturizer like no sunscreen less moisturizer like no makeup nothing because like just the friction of the fabric against my skin I think might be causing that too and like irritating it so that's just what I'm going to continue doing but yeah comment down below if anyone's broken out from masks if there has been like any products you guys recommend and so forth.